Certain mysteries of our vast universe are light years closer to us than we might imagine as we explore the enigma of the Black Knight satellite. With numerous astronauts now having witnessed the existence of this massive orbital anomaly high above Earth, over 120 years of data now also has eyewitness accounts of the strange craft. And in the vast ocean of conspiracies and suppressed knowledge, the Black Knight satellite anomaly stands out, possibly even having ties to biblical and other religious texts, or even incredible time travel implications. Another distinguishing characteristic of this mysterious object is that, unlike other satellites, it seems to alter its orbit and location at will. Orbiting Earth long before our abilities to launch our own satellites in the mid-20th century, this purported extraterrestrial spacecraft has been a dark presence above us for possibly thousands of years, with its existence being explained away as everything from orbiting meteor material to inexplicable space junk. While the Black Knight anomaly remains unofficially acknowledged, where did its discovery originate, and how have theories about it evolved over time? Our story begins in the late 19th century with the brilliant inventor Nikola Tesla. In 1899, during his radio experiments, Tesla reported receiving peculiar signals which he speculated could be from extraterrestrials. This claim, though not directly linked to the Black Knight satellite, is often considered the genesis of the theory and the possible arrival of the spacecraft. Though some allege the object has ties to biblical texts as pertaining to aliens and fallen angels, or even Anunnaki arrivals as mentioned in Sumerian and even Old Testament writings. Fast forward to 1928, when strange delayed radio echoes were detected. These echoes, inexplicable at the time, fueled speculation about their possible alien origin. Then, in 1954, a UFO researcher named Donald Kehoe claimed that the US Air Force had detected not one, but two satellites orbiting Earth, even before humanity had the technology to launch such objects. Though government agencies flatly denied Kehoe's claim, it added another layer to the unfolding Black Knight satellite mystery. Was Kehoe simply mistaken, or was there much more going on? Around the same time, the UK ran the Black Knight rocket program between 1958 and 1965. While this program was unrelated to the satellite legend, the coincidental name further entwined the threads of the conspiracy. In 1960, the U.S. Navy detected at least one dark object in orbit, one of which later turned out to be a lost satellite. However, for those inclined towards the extraterrestrial, this incident was another piece in the Black Knight puzzle, and classified documents along with typical Cold War secrecy kept the public in the dark about what could be orbiting our planet. Interest continued to mount, as in 1963 when astronaut Gordon Cooper allegedly reported a UFO sighting during his space mission. While there is conflicting testimony regarding Cooper's actual account, the newly formed aeronautics community was locked down by government secrecy, despite a flood of evidence regarding newly discovered lunar artifacts, which were both ancient and clearly non-terrestrial, on top of the still mysterious Black Knight anomaly. In 1973, author Duncan Lunan speculated that the earlier mentioned delayed radio echoes could be transmissions from an alien probe, possibly the Black Knight satellite. Upon compiling all the data transmissions, Lunan discovered a clever sequence of numerical information indicating that the Black Knight satellite seems to hail from the Bo Otus constellation, some 13,000 years removed from our present time. But the question is, 13,000 years in the past or the future? Lunan's thesis hinged upon the Earth's rotation and precession. The concept of axial precession means that the Earth wobbles at the poles as it rotates, with a full cycle of this precession being completed every 26,000 years. So while Duncan Lunan's interpretation of these star maps lead him to look 13,000 years into the past, certain proponents of this new time travel theory believe that the star maps could be indicating that the Black Knight satellite comes from 13,000 years in the future, possibly sent by a human colony that long since settled in the Boatus constellation. So-called deep state agents were working hard to not only keep the extraterrestrial connection a secret, 
but also attempting to quiet the emergence of theories tying the space object to both biblical texts and related Anunnaki evidence dating back some thousands of years. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Both the ancient Anunnaki and a group called the Watchers are mentioned in Old Testament texts. While Anunnaki craft are typically thought to be pyramidal in structure, could the Black Knight satellite be an ancient Anunnaki vessel designed to observe humanity's development? Another theory on the Black Knight anomaly ties into ancient Vedic texts dating back thousands of years. These epic tomes describe giant flying machines that can not only navigate terrestrial skies, but can actually make interstellar travels. While certain experts scoff at the idea, the ancient aircraft described in Indian texts not only describe the various machines in detail, including the possible use of spinning mercury to generate anti-gravity effects, but indicate that these craft could actually leave Earth at will. With this in mind, is the Black Knight satellite an ancient Vimana? While coded signals embedded in the Black Knight anomaly transmissions seem to indicate the craft originates from the Boötes constellation, leading some to believe that a hypothetical race known as the Arcturans may be responsible for its creation, is there evidence that this object could actually be not alien, but possibly a vessel traveling back through time from a distant human colony on a far-flung star system? Sent back in time from our future cousins across the stars, Perhaps with a warning, perhaps a message of hope and peace, that our future is indeed bright and secure. Could the Black Knight satellite be an indication of continued extraterrestrial surveillance of modern human civilization? The actual origin of the arrival of supposed angelic presences, both good and evil, to planet Earth? Or is it a contact across time from human generations in the future? The most recent concrete development came in 1998, when a photo taken during the STS-88 mission was claimed to show the Black Knight satellite. While NASA and other agencies vocally denied the presence of anything but satellite space junk, certain researchers feel this is another attempt to keep the true nature of the anomaly a secret, both to control the sanctioned narratives of humanity's place in the universe and to keep major religions stable and unchallenged in the face of growing evidence of Anunnaki and other non-terrestrial influence. In summary, the Black Knight satellite is a fascinating amalgamation of intrigue and still unexplained evidence, starting with Tesla's possible communication with alien or interdimensional entities and the growing awareness of Anunnaki and other alien oversight. It may have started with Tesla's strange signals and evolved with delayed radio echoes, mysterious satellite detections, or it may date back well past biblical times, even accounting for the presence of Anunnaki overlords described as deities battling other off-world fallen angels, as described by an elder race of man. It could even be a message to ourselves from a hopeful distant future. Either way, the Black Knight satellite, as it continues to hover above our planet like an ancient dark sentinel, remains uninvestigated and officially unconfirmed.